In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we come together to celebrate the Eucharist, let us be mindful of our faults and failings as we pray. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, ask something of me and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, O Lord my God, you have made me your servant, king to succeed my father David. But I am a mere youth not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, Because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, nor for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding, so that you may know what is right, I do as you requested. I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now and after you, there will come no equal to you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, I love your command. 
of silver and gold. Lord, I love your commands. Lord, I love your commands. Let your merciful love console me by your promise to servant. Show me compassion that I may live, for your Lord is my delight. Lord, I love your commands. Lord, I love your commands. That is is why I love your commands more than finest gold, why I roll my life by your precepts and hateful ways. Lord, I love your commands. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that all things work for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, so that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called. And those he called, he also justified. And those he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for you have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, 
he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? And they answered, yes. And he replied, then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the old and the new. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Paul assures us that all things work for the good of those who love him. That assurance of God's love is encouraging and consoling for all those who might be anxious in a world that seems to present so many concerns. We do live in a world and a culture very much absorbed by the things it can draw, that can draw us away from God. There is an atmosphere that runs counter to God and Christianity. There are tensions and fears. It's not unusual that we would be concerned, and so we instinctively reach out to God for assurance and security. The only confident assurance we have is the Lord our God. If we hope to face life with courage and some sense of balance, we must entrust ourselves to him and the all that bothers us and frightens us. God is our creator, our savior, the one who can give us confidence and balance and love. We should not be slow to put ourselves in his care. There are concerns in life we try to resolve, and perhaps we try too much to figure them out by ourselves. Maybe we leave God out of the action, but how much better it is to turn to him with the assurance St. Paul gives us today in his letter to the Romans. Paul reminds us that the Lord promises to make all things work for those who love him. That promise itself is a reassuring gift of God. We heard about Solomon in the first reading. He did not ask for the answer to every problem. He only asked for wisdom to resolve all problems in a way that would be faithful to God. He asked for an understanding of heart in dealing with people. He asked for the gift of determining right from wrong. If we ask the Lord today for some particular good, what would be our choice? There are so many pressing needs. We might ask for health, for happiness, for success, for peace, peace of mind, peace for, with fa and families, and peace among nations. We ask God for whatever is needed, but we also leave ourselves in his hands, who promise to bring all things together for those who love him. Our love for God gives us the confidence that he is with us in all the events and activities of life. It alerts us to be aware of his love, his care, his protection, and the answer to our prayers. There are so many opportunities and ways in this life that let us know of God's love for us. The Lord spoke of all our concerns. Do not be anxious about life. Have faith in God who loves you and cares for you. Life is full of God's love and generosity and protection. 
we may not think of them because they're so routine. Life itself, freedom, security, comfort, health, family, the beauty of the world around us, and even in the more other spiritual gifts of God, faith, the hope of everlasting life, his forgiveness, his mercy, the Eucharist. Each of us has tasted the Lord's goodness enough to understand and appreciate his love and care. We have sensed his interventions, those special moments when he has reached out to us and answered our prayers. Our reading began with the words of St. Paul. We know that all things work for the good of those who love God. We can rest in that confidence that all things work for good for those who have faith and love for God. There can be much comfort in life by just putting ourselves in God's hands and know that he will care for us. Let us pray. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Lord God, we hear your word and seek to value it like gold and silver. We thank you for the grace of your presence here among us. Christ's body gathered in his name, we turn our hearts to you as we pray. For every Catholic Christian, that we might humble ourselves like Solomon and ask only for the desire to understand God's will for his people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Christians everywhere, that we would measure our desire for the kingdom of God against all our other priorities and plans and honestly be willing to forego them all to gain it. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to religious life, a blessing over our Jesuit scholastic Christopher Halonia, and particularly for Deacon Matthew Norwood, who will be ordained to the priesthood of Jesus Christ on August the 1st. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those who have died, and in a particular way at this Mass for all those who have lost their lives as a re result of the COVID-19 pandemic, for all those who grieve in these difficult circumstances, may Christ grant them his peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Father, Father God, help us approach your altar as a pleasing sacrifice confident that all things work for the good for those who love you. Conform us daily ever more closely to the image of your Son. We make our prayers 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, those most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of eternal life. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are, holy, are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer one another a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, at this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people, light for the world to see. Christ, be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light, shine in your church, gather today. Longing for peace, our world is troubled. Longing for hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your living voice. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be our light. Shine in your church, gather today.